disclaimer, I'm not too technical about power stations. The wattage and the amperes and the volts of the canameral, walang gana. Nagro-roll ba? <laughs> so, this is my new baby. Oh, no! Look! OMG! Wowza! Hello everyone, we are back with another video and for today's vlog, we are unboxing a special package sent to us by Bluetti Philippines. Yes! My pasta! Okay, so being a camper, uh, a camper! Being camperies, this is something that we've been wanting to purchase actually for quite some time now. Pero somehow, hindi ko alam kung bakit, mas ang daming bagay na iba naming inuna. And at the same time, Pinapahiram kasi kami ng mga camping buddies na amin. <laughs> so, nabuhay kami sa hira. <laughs> Dahil dyan, parang rinig ata ng Papa Jesus. Parang may nakarinig. Mm. Nakachismis sa wala pa kami power station. So, they reached out to us and asked us if we are okay with uh, doing a collaboration with them. And they sent us over one of their power stations. Disclaimer, I'm not too technical about power stations. Yung kaalaman ko when it comes to this stuff is entry level. <laughs> entry level lang tayo. Wag tayo mga palaliman ng mga the wattage and the amperes and the volts of the canameral. Walang gana. Masa alam ko lang yung power station na I feel like would be enough for the devices that we have and my needs as a human being. <laughs> Dabing ko. Dali ka na. Mm. Bumalik pa ako ng bagong cutter para dito ah. Bagong cutter. At <laughs> So, ito na nga. Unbox na natin. Cutting. Ribbon cutting. <laughs> Very carefully. Parang scalpel. It's a beautiful day to save lives. <laughs> Nagro-roll ba? <laughs> okay. Alam naman natin ako ang Reyna ng unboxing. Kaya ako ito. For the, for the independent. For the I am strong independent woman. Actually, dami ko naman ang napanood na unboxing nito eh. Like, I have an idea kung ano yung laman nito. It's just that I really do like unboxing. <laughs> so, I'm still gonna record this. Any unboxing of anything. Kasi this is such a, an experience for me. So, kung may gusto kayo pa-unbox, <laughs> send nyo lang. Hello! Tada! Chacharbo ko na lang sa gilid. Oh! Yung mga ugat ko. Okay, pala. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> my muscles are being tested today. A box within a box. <laughs> so, dito na po nagtatapos yung video na ito. Pagod na ako. Okay. Up. Yeah. Huwag ka na ako ibabat ulit. Okay, so what's in the box? <laughs> First is another box. <laughs> Julie, ano to? Ano to? Ano to? Okay. So, the usual, syempre, ito yung power brick, connection sa power outlet, and then, yung parang sa cigarette port kinesers. Yes! <laughs> Tapos, ay, ito yung collection pang solar, ano. Wala pa itong kasamang solar kines, kineme. Pero baka naman, <laughs> palay nyo naman. Ito na siya. Yes! Kasi there are different colors to choose from, but... I really did want itong color na to. Itong color. A surprise. Anong calling nga ba yung gusto ko? Cherries. Yay! This also comes in blue and red. I think we prefer this color instead. Yay! Another thing that comes with it is... Ano to? Manual. User manual. At saka it's yung ano niya. Warranty Kinele. So, this is my new baby. Ano? Meet EB70. Ano kayo magandang nickname dito? EBB. Okay. Just wanna share with you kung bakit pangarap namin magkaroon nito. Tagal na. Sa case namin, we are car campers. We are campers. So, we usually go out, you know, explore the wild. Wild! <laughs> you would usually want to maximize yung time namin when we go camping. So, as much as possible, we try to go camp like three days, two nights, ganyan. Pero, in our third day na sa camp, doon namin na-experience na yung kakulangan ng power source. 
So this is very beneficial to those people who camp, who do outdoor stuff. Ganyan, who go to remote places na walang power source. In reality, hindi lang mga campers or people who go outdoors or who overland um, mag benefit in having their own power station. It's actually everyone. This would serve as your backup power source for your work or your home. If ever mag brown out, you'd have your emergency source of energy. <laughs> energy, energy. Yes. Para din dun sa mga ano, may mga medical devices nila na that would need a power source. This has a lot of benefit for different people. Ano ko sinabi? Anyway, sa na ako, balik tayo ulit dito. This is the yung yung model na na EB70. Let me share with you the things that I feel you need to consider before choosing a power station. The first thing you're gonna need to do is gather information. List down the devices that you need to power. Also, take note of your watts. Niya. Watts! Huwag na tayo mag-explain. Basta tingnan na yun lang yung watts. Check the label na lang. After doing that, yung watts na yun, parang i-add nyo yung number of watts na yun. Or parang just for you to have an idea kung gano'n kalaki yung watts yung kailangan nyo. For you to know, anong capacity ng power station ang kakailangan ninyo. So, just to give you an idea. <laughs> Parang technical na app. Vehicle app and no. Parang thesis kasi talaga to. Ako lang yung intro. Tapos siya na yung... Siya na yung technical chuba. Ano, tingnan natin. I'll try my best. So, huwag na tayo magpangga. Huwag na tayo magpangga. Pupunta na tayo directly sa website nila. And, I'm just gonna go through some of the things that I feel like should be highlighted. So, una sa lahat, mabigat siya. It's around 9.7 kilograms. Honey, come here. Ay, ito ba? Ay, ko! Penny, siya okay sa mga ito. Ayan. Si Penny ay around 9 point something kilograms then. So, magkasing ano sila? Magkasing weight sila. So, hi sister. Yan, yan. Another thing na I feel like sobrang kailangan i-highlight is also yung ano, yung type ng battery that this uses. This uses a LiPo 4. <laughs> Paisip, LiPo 4. Yan. Lithium iron phosphate. This kind of battery is more stable, so it means it's a lot safer, it's less prone to combustion. Combustion or explosion. Basta ganun. Yung recharge cycle nito would be 2,500, so recharge and discharge, 2,500 times before it actually degrades yung maximum capacity niya from 100 to 80% na lang yung capacity ng battery niya. That would take years and years before, you know, ma magasgasa mo yung 2,500 times na charge cycle. The lifespan niya would be 5 times longer than yung lithium-ion kinds. Balik ka tayo. Tama na yung panggap na may mga memory sa kong ibang highlight dun. Although the capacity of this power station is 716, pero it is also rated for 1000 watts. You can plug in devices na kahit 1000 watts siya, it would still work, it would still run. Pero syempre may maximum, may parang surge wattage lang to ng around 1400. So if ever any of the gadgets that you plug in here reaches that wattage, the power would just trip and it would just say na overload. Akala ko nung una, pa nagsaksak ka ng medyo mas, mata ng mas mataas sa capacity nito. Akala ko, ano, uh, explode, <laughs> ganun. Pero hindi ba? Uh, it has a safety feature. I guess all power stations would have that. I just didn't know. So, ang maximum input nito when charging would be 200 watts. Uh, power brick, you can connect sa 220 volt uh, outlet nyo or ng kapitbahay nyo. It's up to you. <laughs> It also supports yung solar panel, solar charging. Bluetti has solar panels available in parang alam ko 200 watts din yun. And I think the charging time would be around 4 hours as well. So the same as when you plug it in. That's on a clear, you know, sunny day. But if ever you would use this kind of charger, yung cigarette, cigarette lighter port sa car. <laughs> It would take around 8 hours. Let's go through your other specs naman niya. So let's, let's go ahead and check over here. Closer look naman. <laughs> Closer look naman sa actual power station. Let's go through the different kineme. So mula dito, this is where you would connect yung 220 volts. Also yung this one. Ay, ito ba lahat to? Ah, dito to lahat. This is where you would connect every single cable for charging. Ito siya. Ito lang siya. <laughs> ito lang lang pala. Nakalagay nga input, diba? Input. Uh, sa right side niya, sa right side. Press mo tong ganito. Ayun. 
Hello, kinilig tasyo. So, start mo tayo dito sa screen niya. Ayan. Whenever you're charging this power station, you'd see yung input niya in watts. So, you'd know kung how many watts ang pumapasok sa kanya. Whenever you plug in something over here, it's gonna show you kung uh, ilang watts yung kinukonsumo ng whichever appliances or gadgets that you're plugging in. Yung battery display nato dito, it's in increments of 20. So, it's namamatay siya in how many seconds? That's, that's okay. Here, you'd have different um, ports. So, ito, USB-C port. And this is what I can use to charge my laptop. Cell phones, then, ganyan. But the fact na 100 watts to, talagang fast charging to. Pag saksak mo palang, charge na. Full charge na. Charis. You also have two USB ports. Ito, hindi ako familiar kung anto. Diyan yun na siya. There are appliances or yeah, na pwedeng i na ito yung basta. Diyan, papalitan natin sa inyo later. Kada panel niya, you have to press yung yung button na to to power on whichever panel you want to turn on. So, this time, I'll press the other button naman so you'd see the the green light. You have four four plugs. This is another useful feature din naman, yung pailaw. Unfortunately, hindi siya yellow. Yeah! Chatis. <laughs> Nagreklamo pa kasi alam mo na. Ano naman tayo mga cameras, kailangan mga yellow light, diba? Pang mood. Charos. So, when you press it once, it'll it'll bulag you level 1, and you press it again, it'll bulag you even more. Tapos, pressing it one more time would give you yung parang SOS kineme. Ayan, bulag na ba kayo? <laughs> In order for you to use your wireless charging, you have to press this button right here. Turns on that panel, which includes itong wireless charging sa taas. So, see? Chining! <laughs> oh, diba? I also like, I also like yung design ng handle niya. Sa, na hindi siya parang yung bulky na pataas na ganun. You can lay it flat. But at least you can still put something on top of it. Pag aalis ka, pag uh, nagjijig sa puzzle ka sa ano, sa trunk ng kotse mo, di ba? May mga magkakasya-kasya pa dyan. This time, let's try charging the power station using itong power brick nila. So, ayan, inassemble ko na siya. I'm gonna plug it sa outlet. The power brick has its own built-in fan. Can you see it? Ayan. Kita ba yan? Ayan. And I'm not sure if you can also hear it. So even if this is not connected to the unit just yet, it's already consuming power because it's running the fan in the power brick. Yeah, correct na natin siya. Pak. This is what it would sound sound like when it's charging, and you would see. Ayan, 193, 194 watts is going into the unit. Using this method, you're gonna be able to fully charge this unit for around 4 hours. Let's talk about some of the things that you can power using this power station. Yung mga appliances, the usual ones, the common common loads niya. So of course, you'd have your smartphones. You can charge around 50 to 60 times. An LED light bulb, it can last for around 20 to 30 hours. Grabe! If you want, oh, di ba nag brown out pero gusto mo manood ng TV? Bakit hindi? <laughs> the television would run around 7 to 8 hours at 75 watts. Dami. Dami mga natutunan today. What? Electronic tools. <laughs> it could give you 7 to 8 hours provided that the electronic tools is around 80 watts. Refrigerator. Perfect. Kasi we borrowed our camping buddy's um, refrigerator. Ayan siya. Ang ganda ng kulay, first of all. We borrowed his ref so that we can also test out. Kung 90 watts yung refrigerator that you will plug in here, it could give you around 6 to 7 hours. So, and a slow cooker. Ano yung slow cooker? 2 to 3 hours. Hindi ba lang kung ano yun? Basta nilang gaganan. So now, we are going to try to toast bread. <gasps> this one. Ayan. Pak! Mm. Ayana. So thank you, husband. So let's go ahead and toast some bread. So nakasaksak na siya dito. Ayan na siya. So iyon ko to. Tinatag ko ano mga yari. Paano ba malalam na tapos na to? Ganon. Okay. So I'm gonna pack. Kala, may ipit ba siya? Tapos iyon ko to dito. Ayan. What does it say? Ayan. This is 600 watts. May ito dito. 
Gusto ko naman malaman kung makakompleto niya ba yung ano. Kung makaka-toast ba tayo. Kasi wala naman tayo ibang matest. So, tumigil lang to. Hindi ko alam kung may timer ba dapat. May timer ba talaga to? Tumigil lang siya. Ayan na! Let's see! Perfect. Shine! Wow! Toasted talaga siya. Ang saya! Look! OMG! Mas nalaglag. Pak! Wow, Za! Ayan. Patigam lang. May... May... Pop. Nice. And, ilan pa yung watts niya? 60 pa rin. Amaze balls. Pwede ka mag-toasty while you're camping. Anyway. Good boy. Ayan, kasama si Chewy boy, boy, boy. Hiniram ko talaga yung ano, yung freezer ni Camping Buddy para matry namin. This kind of refrigerator, portable refrigerator, only uses 60 watts per hour. And that's only when the compressor is on. This can actually, ano, give you ice. Give, give you ice. This can actually freeze ice. This can free. This has, no? This can make ice. <laughs> Ang hirap mag English. <laughs> this can make ice kasi ang temperature nito is from positive 20 to negative 20. Freezing point is zero, of course. Ko, of course, ako hindi ko alam eh. <laughs> Just, there are two ways that you can power this refrigerator, any portable refrigerator. It's either through yung 220 volts or you can also plug it sa kotse mo through your cigarette lighter port. Ayan, ayan. You can also charge it, syempre, here. Ang ginagawa ni Camping Buddy is, habang nasa bahay pa, before he leaves, he sets it to whatever temperature that he likes. Positive 5 or negative 5, ganyan. And then, while traveling, he has this connected sa cigarette port ng kotse niya. And then, once he reaches camp, then that's the time that he transfers yung connection papunta sa power station niya. So, that's what we're gonna do. Kunyari, nasa camp na tayo, diba? Para magamit natin yung lighter port nito. Nito, ayan. Suck, suck this. Ayan. So, so, let's turn this other thing on. And then, let's plug in this. What are you? Yun. Pak. As you can see, let's see kung gano yung dinadraw niyang power. I mean, hindi ko pa pala ino. <laughs> I-on muna natin, girl. Let's turn it on. Pak. Once you turn it on, the screen in here will show you Quanning current temperature niya, and then you can click on the plus and minus button uh, to set it to whichever temperature. So currently, nagda draw siya ng how many? How many watts? 23 watts lang yung din draw niya. Not sure why. <laughs> Ang maximum nito is 60 watts. So yan, wala lang. Pinahita ko lang sa inyo na this can also support a portable refrigerator. Pasok na ako sa loob. <laughs> Malamig. Hiniram-hiram ko to. Tapos ito lang pala yung gagawin kong portion nito. No? Kapit mo dito, ganyan. Mm, pop. Blower na. Magka-blower na tayo. Mm. Okay. Let's try a blower instead. Nakalagay dito ano? 1350 to 1600 watts siya. Yan. Let's see. Ayun. So, nung minax ko yung, ano, yung blow dryer, it's now saying overload. Pero, on a regular setting lang, kaya yung blow. Pero pag, pero pag minax ko yung, ano niya, hindi pwede. Okay, dami natin tinest. Pagod na ako. Just, let's go to the pros and cons naman ng specific unit na to. So, baka sabihin nyo kasi, eh, binadalang ko lang ng unit kasi wala kayo bang negative niya masasabi. Anyway, so, mahirap naman talaga kasi makakita ng negative dito. Actually, there are only two. Mauna na tayo sa negative. Negative side. Negative or room for improvement. Okay. So, itong power brake na to. My first, ano, comment na uh, not so positive would be the, the power brake. The moment that you plug this in, the power outlet niya. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Okay, ang gano. So, the moment that you plug this in, may ano, uh, umaandar na agad yung fan niya. If you can hear it. Ito pala. It's not even plugged in yet sa ano, sa power station. Pero, ayan, nagisimula na siya magtrabaho. Tsaka yung noise, hindi naman siya ganun kalakas. Pero you would notice it. Even when your power station is already fully charged, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung ano niya, yung 
fan niya, yung power ng ano, power brake. So that's one. Another thing is that yung battery display niya, as you can see, it's shown in yung 20 20 increments increment ganyan. So 20, 40 and it would have been a lot better if they would be shown in actual numbers yung battery percentage nandito. So yun lang naman, yun lang ang medyo cons could be improved comments pa dito sa power station na to. But when it comes to yung pros, these are the things that we feel make this power station, you know, worth purchasing. Una sa lahat, napaka-importante nito. Ang ganda ng kulay niya. <laughs> ang baba. I know that there are other colors that you can choose from. Hindi ko alam kung sa Philip Hindi parang red lang ata eh. Red lang yung isa. Tapos ito gray. Dark gray na. I like the color kasi sim simple lang siya. Quite classic and sleek. Ganyan. Another thing that I like about it is that just knowing na the type of battery that this power station uses is the kind that would last a long time. And yung capacity nito, at least for now, I feel like this is enough for our, you know, three-day camping trip kung saan man it would be able to support the gadgets that we have. We usually just have um, a laptop, two phones, uh, charging for a camera, tapos yung mga pailaw, rechargeable um, lights ko sa camping, ganyan, yung mga lantern, kinekineme. Also, there are times na when we go camping, si Chino, <laughs> my husband would still be working while camping, so this one would also be able to support um, his laptop as well and another external monitor. Yun lang, yun yung, yung pros namin uh, overall, really. Yung application ito sa everyday life lives namin and camping namin. Talagang swak na swak siya sa amin. So, this is something na we are very thankful for being able to acquire through a collaboration. <laughs> If you feel like you want to explore a bit more looking for power stations, you may want to consider this brand. After all, Bluetti is a company known for producing good quality power stations, energy sources, solar panels. So you can just go to their website. I'm going to put the link in the description box. Go check them out. And feel free to choose the kind of power station, like kung anong category man power station from their website that you feel like is applicable to you and your needs in life. And also, one thing I'd like to mention is that there's an upcoming sale to Bluetti Philippines um, website. So you may want to check out the the link that I'm gonna put in the description put in the description box. And that's about it. If you've reached this part of the video, thank you so much for watching, for your patience. <laughs> for your patience. If you feel like this is a video that is helpful or even entertaining at some level, feel free to give it a like, uh, share, and subscribe if you want. And, you know, you know, thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> Bye.